Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 1 on chi-square distribution. In this lecture, we are going to talk about one important continuous probability distribution which is known as chi-square distribution. And chi-square distribution is particular case of gamma distribution which we have discussed in earlier lectures. So, if you are not familiar with gamma distribution, I suggest you to watch gamma distribution first and then go for this lecture because chi-square distribution is a particular case of gamma distribution. So, we just recall the definition of gamma distribution. Gamma distribution is the continuous probability distribution whose probability density function is given by fx equal to 1 over beta raised to alpha times gamma alpha x raised to alpha minus 1 times e raised to minus x over beta and uh, this is when x is positive value of pdf of gamma distribution is fx equal to this quantity whenever x is positive and it is zero elsewhere here alpha and beta are called parameters of the gamma distribution and they are positive real numbers now, if we consider particular values of alpha and beta, then we can derive chi-square distribution from gamma distribution. So, now we define chi-square distribution. Let nu be a positive integer. This symbol is known as nu. Pronunciation is nu. So, suppose nu is a positive integer or it is a natural number then a random variable capital X is said to have a chi-square distribution with this parameter nu if the pdf of this random variable is the probability density function of gamma random variable with alpha equal to nu by 2 and beta equal to 2. So, this is pdf of gamma distribution and if in this pdf if we consider particular values of parameters alpha and beta alpha is nu by 2 where nu is a positive integer and beta equal to 2 if we consider this particular values of alpha and beta then whatever distribution we obtain is known as chi square distribution so the chi square distribution is nothing but gamma distribution with parameters alpha equal to nu by 2 and beta equal to 2 and uh, therefore the pdf of chi-square random variable is fx equal to here we put this uh, beta equal to 2 here here we will take beta equal to 2 and alpha equal to nu by 2 so here we have 2 raised to nu by 2 into gamma of nu by 2 x raised to nu by 2 minus 1 and e raised to minus x by 2. So, this is the pdf of chi-square random variable and the probability distribution whose pdf is given by this pdf is known as chi-square probability distribution and this parameter nu is called number of degrees of freedom of chi-square random variable and chi-square random variable is denoted by this symbol okay. instead of using capital X for chi-square random variable we will use this Greek letter which is read as chi-square so this chi-square is the notation for chi-square random variable whose probability density function is given by this formula and because this is a continuous probability density function the graph of fx will also be a continuous curve in the xy plane so we will just see what is the curve which represents this probability density function of chi-square random variable so here i have shown uh, this curves for chi-square random variable this pdf is having different values for this different degrees of freedom 
here parameter of chi square distribution is nu which is called number of degrees of freedom so for different values of degrees of freedom we will have different pdf for chi square random variable so here i have shown the different graphs of chi square probability curve for different values of nu which is the degrees of freedom so this red uh, red color curve is the probability density curve of chi square random variable for 20 degrees of freedom and this is for 12 degrees of freedom and this blue curve is density curve for 8 degrees of freedom so we can observe that chi square distribution is not symmetrical distribution the graph is not symmetric for probability density function of chi square distribution for nu equal to 8 we have this graph and we can see it has a longer tail to the right side same thing for this graph for nu equal to 12 and nu equal to 20 so the graph of chi square density curve is not symmetric and it has a longer tail towards the right side so it has a um, large skewness or there is a more skewness to the right side or the density curve is skewed to the right side and uh, here minimum value is 0 so we can say that value of chi square random variable is always non negative in the normal distribution we are having negative values as well as positive and zero but chi square random variable always takes non negative values so these are the different properties of chi square distribution first one is chi square distribution is not symmetrical chi square random variable is non negative the chi square probability distribution is skewed to the right and we can see as we increase the number of degrees of freedom our curve becomes symmetric so as number of degrees of freedom increases the distribution becomes more symmetric and if we consider number of degrees of freedom tending to infinity the limiting form of the chi square distribution will be a normal distribution now as in the case of normal probability table we have chi square probability table also and uh, to understand chi square probability table first we understand this notation this is the graph of chi square random uh, chi square density curve and uh, we can see this point the point on the horizontal axis which is denoted by chi square alpha so this point chi square alpha is called chi square critical value and uh, we consider this point as the point on horizontal axis or x axis such that area to the right of this point is alpha so chi square alpha is the positive real number on x axis or the point on real axis such that the area to the right of chi square alpha is alpha for example if i consider chi square 0.01 then this is the number on the horizontal axis such that area to the right side of this number is 0.01 or we can say that probability that chi square is greater than chi square alpha is equal to alpha area to the right side of this point is nothing but probability that chi square random variable takes the values greater than this critical value chi square alpha so that probability is nothing but area to the right side of this critical value chi square alpha so we will remember this notation chi square alpha or some authors use this also chi square alpha comma number of degrees of freedom so it is called a chi square critical value and it denotes the number on the horizontal axis such that alpha of the area under the chi square curve 
with new degrees of freedom lies to the right of this critical value chi square alpha now unlike normal distribution chi square distribution is not symmetric but we can consider equal area into the left as well as right tails suppose we consider that area in the right tail and this left tail are alpha by 2 then this chi square alpha by 2 is the point such that area to the right side of this point is alpha by 2 and uh, this point chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is the point such that area to the right of this point is 1 minus alpha by 2 suppose we are interested in this area area to the right of this point area shaded by this black lines then here uh, the area to the left side of this point is alpha by 2 and we know that total area under this distribution is always 1 therefore the area to the right side of this point is nothing but 1 minus area to the left side of this point so I can write that probability that chi square is greater than chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is equal to 1 minus alpha by 2 that is the area to the right side of this point is chi is 1 minus alpha by 2 so remember these notations and our chi square tables chi square probability tables are given for areas to the right side of critical value in normal distribution uh, we have this type of things the normal probability distribution table is given for the area to the left side of this critical value but in chi square probability table we are given the areas to the right side of this critical values so this we will require in the problems of hypothesis testing whenever required we will consider the area in both details which is equal and we must be familiar with these notations and uh, area between these two points is nothing but 1 minus area in two tails so area in two tails is equal alpha by 2 that means area between these two points is 1 minus alpha so here i have written all these things the area under a chi square curve with new degrees of freedom to the right of chi square alpha by 2 is alpha by 2 as is the area to the left of this point so here we can see area to the left of this point is alpha by 2 area to the right of this point is alpha by 2 and therefore the area captured between those two critical values is 1 minus alpha and this is what i explained probability that chi square is greater than chi square alpha by 2 is alpha by 2 or the area to the right side of this point is alpha by 2 and probability that chi square is greater than chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is 1 minus alpha by 2 or area to the right side of this point under the chi square curve is 1 minus alpha by 2 so now once we understand what is chi square distribution and once we are familiar with the shape of chi square distribution we can use chi square distribution table remember that we can roughly sketch chi square distribution in such a way that our curve is skewed to the right it is not symmetrical now suppose i want to use chi square distribution table then i have to first open this so these are the critical values of chi square and this table is for chi square critical values so this 5% 1% 0.1% are significance level or we can say that area to the right of this critical value chi square alpha so instead of 5% we can write 0 0.05 0 0.01 or 0 0.001 also 
and this column contains degrees of freedom and these values in the table all these values are nothing but critical values of chi square so chi square alpha these points the points on the horizontal axis such that area to the right side this chi square alpha these values of chi square alpha are in the table this column headings 5% 1% 0.1% are areas to the right of this critical values and this column is for degrees of freedom so suppose i am interested uh, for chi square alpha equal to 0.05 suppose i consider alpha equal to 0.05 and suppose degrees of freedom are 9 and uh, i am interested in this value chi square 0.05 with 9 degrees of freedom so in this table i will look for 9 so here i have 9 and in this column headings i have to search for alpha equal to 0.05 or 5% so here i consider this uh, this column and this row and intersecting point is 16.919 so i can say that chi square 0.05 is 16.919 so in this way we can decide this chi square critical values